Random opinion for me, I think Ace Hood is probably one of the most underrated rappers out there. Um, I know it's been a while, but I... <laughs> if you guys have seen my snaps, dude, work has been super fucking busy. Um, as you guys have heard, if you guys keep up with my social media and my actual life, other than my Civic, um, I used to work at Spanish Hills Country Club. I was there for about eight years, and then I got an opportunity at the Hyatt Hotel in Westlake. So now I'm one of the managers there. Oh, Spider! Sit. Good boy. So something that I've been really slacking on doing, I might as well just get this on video with you guys. That way we can, I can throw something out there for you. Um, these headlights, let me go ahead and unbox them for you. These headlights, Oh, that would have been bad if I dropped it. Look, these headlights are awesome, and I love them. I like how they looked on the car. But, as you can see, I think it's this one right here. Is this the passenger one? Yeah. This clip right here broke. So, there's no way the screw will hold on to that. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the only... Oh, you know what? I think I can figure out how to copy that. All I need is that part right here. So I can put that right there. So if I can find that, maybe like at a Home Depot, that'd be pretty sick. Or maybe my old headlights. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out. There's nothing really wrong with these headlights other than it leaks water in through here. We're all right there. And this tab is broken. But it looks like we just need to copy this and put that right there. So I might take a picture of this and just send it into like, I might go to Home Depot and just look around. Maybe I can find, what are you doing? Get off, get off, get off. Thank you. So it looks like I just need to copy this. I really want to make these headlights work because these headlights are, I just like how they looked on the car, man. So I'm going to go ahead and do the baking method. Gotham. If you guys have any pups, look at that. Here he's biting everything, every single part of my wall in this house. He's doing it again. Stop. Go over there. Anyways, sorry. Uh, I need to go ahead and put this in the oven. We're going to go ahead and open this up. I should have enough sealant in here for both headlights, actually. But I'm only going to do the passenger side because the passenger side is the only one that needs help. So we're going to go ahead. Put it in there. First things first, I'm gonna take that light bulb out. Oh, that was actually pretty easy, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this right here. And be careful by taking this light bulb out. This is an H1 light bulb HID. Okay. So, according to the previous owner of these, he said that as long as I can hook these up to a power source, this is red and black cable. It should give it some demon eyes. Here's a picture of how it should look with the car. Um, I don't know if it was lying or not, but I mean, what what else would these cables be there for, you know? So, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven, and we're gonna go ahead and go from there. Just in case you guys are wondering, I got this from the retrofitsource.com. I think that's what it's called. Uh, retrofit install guide. So if you go to the retrofit source and type in uh, the sealant, this should come out. I hope I get in it. It looks like this, and it's pretty much telling you how to do this. So, warning by reading document, you're green and blah blah blah. This is not gonna be us. Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom in. Plus, place headlight in oven for seven minutes at 270 Fahrenheit. Okay, so actually I'm gonna preheat this for about 10 minutes. Place headlight in oven for seven minutes at 270 Fahrenheit. Uh, some housings might have different ceiling types that require other procedures to open and remove. So, looking at this, it looks like, All of this is gonna come out. That's gonna get melted out. I'm probably gonna need a screwdriver to push that out. This like little tab. Uh, there's another tab right there. It's honestly only, it's honestly only um, leaking from this side. If I can get that leak to stop, 
I'd be able to rock these headlights even more. And then I will figure out how to fix this because a lot of you guys don't want to buy this. And I understand why, because nobody really wants to buy a set of headlights or a set of parts that don't really work. Like right now, I just got to clean it, you know? But I like the gold that it has right there. That's how it came, you know? And I'm cool with that. You're just waiting for me to do something, huh, Babush? He follows me everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up right before I put it in there. And I'm just gonna let that heat up and we should be good to go. I'm just gonna use an armor all, all cleaning purpose and a microfiber towel. I'm gonna go ahead and read a couple more directions just to jump ahead. Using a flathead screwdriver, pry gently on the seam holding the two housings together to separate them. So then these two are gonna pop out together. Um, place the bed of retrofit sealant and channel of headlight housing as shown. Okay, so it looks like you're just filling in. Let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, dude, this is plenty. Oh, it's sticky. Guys, and keep in mind, this is my first time gonna be doing, attempting something like this. If these headlights actually mess up more in the long run, oh well, I mean, I was honestly just trying to get rid of them for the learning curve, and if I don't damage the projectors, I might just save those and uh, learn how to retrofit myself sometime in the future. We're gonna go ahead and just throw this in the oven. <laughs> it's in there. Can't see it because of the light, but it's in there. Right there. I got them. Oh, dude, check this out. Random. Um, I've been Xbox right there. I have a little game station mic and everything. So I'm trying to get that going so I can. I play so much video games that I, I might as well. Just start recording some because I do have some funny moments on there. So I don't know. Just a thought. These aren't meant for heat, but I don't really have anything else. Gotham, you really should move out of the way. Like I don't want you. No, no. Put it right here. Good. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. Probably should have done this before, but. Street smells like freaking burn. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can open this up. Oh, this is coming off really easily. Uh, I really hope I'm getting it, but you can only have a certain position for it, guys. Okay. Oh, this is nasty. The top is open, now the bottom part. That's all we gotta do right now. The top is open, now we gotta do the bottom part. And it's coming off pretty good. Oh, look at that. Woo, that's hot. Woo, damn. Is it? It's open. Um, okay, so it was right here where it leaked. So I'm gonna go ahead and this doesn't really seem like it's that hard to do. Damn, fool. So, looks like you're just gonna run it through the entire line right here. And then once that's on, I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much just clamp it all the way around. Then I'm gonna throw it back in there. So I should probably keep this on. I turned it off, but I'm gonna, I turned it back on, so I'll get there quick. And, we should be good to go. As of right now, I think I'm gonna try cleaning out the inside a little bit. I'm gonna let it cool down for a bit and then I'm gonna get back into it so I can pretty much clean it from the inside out. And then we'll, we'll go from right there. Dude, look how damaged this inside was. That's pretty freaking bad. Oh, okay, so I just... Okay, all right, how about we just... Take that out. This is cool. 
<laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, so well, let me pause that. No copy right here, buddy. So it looks like everything's already cleaned up. I cleaned the inside of it as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this out. I'm gonna put more in here. Let's see, in here, and then more in here, because this is where it looks like it was leaking through. And then everywhere else, I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the line with this. So see if I can actually get that on camera for you guys. Dude, I put a good amount in here, like, there should be no more leakage through this. So I might put some extra one here on this side because this is where it was leaking from. So at the same, like, you know, from the, just on the other side. So I'm going to put a little bit on this side and then I'm going to go ahead and close it up. I'm going to throw this in the oven so it can loosen it up a little bit or I guess you could say melt a little bit so that I'll take it back out in like three minutes and I'll just start caressing all the corners, you know. So back in the oven you go. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there for about two to three minutes. I'm gonna go bring it back out. I'm gonna use the clamps that I have and the gloves that I have to squeeze all the corners back in. Make sure there isn't pretty much a spot where it's open. And then I'll put it back in there. Um, let it sit there for about seven minutes. I'll let it, I'll bring it back out and then I'll just let it uh, pretty much, I guess you can say not air dry, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Cool off, damn, why couldn't I say cool off? Cool off, you know, so I don't need any of this anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this away. Okay, can, can you guys tell? Ooh, I've been going to the gym more. <laughs> I'm still fat. was doing was pretty much clamping up all the corners pushing it in clamping it pushing it in that way I can for sure make sure nothing is everything is in place um, now the final step is you're gonna put it back in the oven so that the sealant can all melt and when you bring it out you can do one more clamping around and you pretty much let it uh, cool down for about 30 minutes all right time to take them out I'm gonna close a little bit more of it. I'm gonna give slight pressure. I don't wanna give it too much, especially because it's hot. So the plastic's pretty much expanded right now. So you don't wanna give it too much pressure because it looks like it'll easily just like come off. Um, and when you put it in there, you really, really don't wanna overdo it and leave it in there for too long. Okay, so I actually left it here for about 45 minutes or so. Everything's pretty much dried up now. I tried pulling it apart, it wouldn't come out, I mean, which is good. I'm gonna throw this under some water and see if uh, it leaks in now. So if it doesn't leak, that means it's fixed. So we gonna see if it works. Nope, looks like it's good, nice. <laughs> Cause that's all right there, from, that's just from the outside. And none went in. I'm gonna mess with this. Apparently I can get this part at O'Reilly's, uh, according to Hector. I might just take that out and put it right here, just to see how the difference was. Cause when I noticed, it was this one that made the difference of holding it straight or not. So, and what I mean by that is, when the headlight is on the car, you would have a perfect cutoff on the left, and then it'd be like this slouchy on the right, because this one wouldn't be accurate. When I tilted it up back where how it should be, it was fine. So, <laughs> we'll see how that is. But I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Um, I'm gonna go look, look into that some other day. Actually, I might go right now. I'm, I'm probably gonna go wash my car, so I need to go drive it. But yeah, I mean, that really wasn't too hard. The sealant that I bought from the retrofit source, Eight bucks, maybe. Took like a week to get here. 
yeah, that looks like those are looks like the headlight is fixed now. Now it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and look into my car and see how I can make them work on it. If, and they're also only for a coupe too, so just in case you sedans are wondering. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. You guys have a good day, stay classy. Peace. Thank you.